Yeah, there's other hikers, I think. Okay. <laughs> it's like, no, we're gonna get murdered before we get to film. Hello, my name is William Gray. Uh, my name is Andrew Worthen. I'm Danny Kaminsky. My name is Matthew Hunma. My name is Aaron Montgomery. My name is Alyssa Fukumoto. And I was the writer, producer, and director of The Silent Killing. I was sound manager. And I played the role of Kelly in. I was on camera for a day. And I was assigned the role of director of photography. And, and I was the production manager. And I also uh, played trailer editor for this film. And I play the role of Jenny. I think that's everyone. Is that everyone? Cut. <laughs> First of all, you're missing my arm. But I understand what you're doing now. Would you, well then, would you rather be dead so we stare at you? No, everyone should stare at the dead film. Everyone's going like, oh Ariel, what's up? <laughs> Who wants to look at a corpse? I would like the camera over here. Over there? Possible. Which one? Compact off. Mm -hmm. They're gonna have their conversation here. They're gonna start looking around, they're gonna find Alex's body. Okay? Everybody up to date? I've always liked the genre, and I feel like it adds a certain je ne sais pas to the, um, to the piece. It makes it a little more suspenseful and stylistic versus as a, an action film or a fantasy film. And I, I've always liked the genre. And I, I've also taken classes that focus just on the horror genre and I always liked to see how they were made, the process of going through them and, and how they were altered to make them even better and that, that was really cool to learn. Just holler if you need us. We're gonna take a look up ahead. No problem. Huh? This is only the first mile. <laughs> <laughs> well first it was um, thought we were gonna film it all in one day, which turned out to be three days later on. But yeah, I guess with multiple scenes, we did it as fast as possible. And that becomes difficult because you want to get everything done and you want to get it done fast, but getting it done fast and getting it done good are not the same thing. I know how much time it takes to, to run through a script and how you need to get different angles and get everybody to say things perfectly. So actually two days for the film that we did, I, I didn't think was a bad thing. I just think um, it was unexpected for a lot of people. Time management is tricky. You have to give yourself, I would say about double the time that you think that you're gonna need in order to get the right shots and the right atmosphere that you want and it takes a while like you're gonna have to give yourself way more time than you think okay and last scene grab him She was there. I don't know. I was with you guys the whole time. Not the semen sensitive or anything, but we really need to keep moving. Very good. I love it. I love it. Woo! <laughs> That's the dead girl. <laughs> I wish you would have realized it was me. Okay. We actually had somebody who was in charge of helping us. Danica did a great job of kind of, you know, if we got lost in the middle of a scene feeding us lines. Um, and the good thing about this project, because it was a student film, is that um, the director and the crew kind of allowed us to improvise uh, some of our lines, which kind of which made it feel a little more natural to say, which helped a lot. Uh, <laughs> surprise! <laughs> Whatever you need to do gonna, that you feel like your character would do. Kind of close to <laughs> How does it look down there? Can you see her face fine? If she's like that? It was interesting. It was more work than I previously thought it was going to be. 
It's really hard work, so respect to the actors. <laughs> Whenever I had a hard time, Danica was willing to throw in the lines and help me out. And there was just one time that I really had a problem uh, getting the lines out completely. And uh, everyone helped me out, and I was able to finally get my line out, and that was really good. But otherwise, I think um, the lines were pretty good, and we were able to communicate them pretty well, too. Well, the longer scenes were challenging for the actors. Uh, they took quite a bit of time, so we went through the lines many, many times. But it was better when they kind of improvised it, because when they learned the lines by heart, it was very uh, mechanical. So improv improvising was way better. It's, it's really hard. First of all, you have to make sure that you're on top of everything. Because if you fall apart on your set, everybody else kind of tumbles there after you. So working with the actors was a lot easier because I had um, a production manager helping me out with that. Like she would go talk to the actors when I couldn't talk to them and she would work out what their lines were going to be. So that was a lot easier but when we needed to get a shot it was difficult to pull one actor aside and tell them what we needed to get them to do during that shot. What did you enjoy? Uh, he panicked more than he should. <laughs> But other than that, he was very enjoyable. Um, actually, it was kind of an easy experience. I mean, everybody was pretty vocal about what they needed, and everybody was really respectful about it, which I think was important with a lot of amateur actors. You know, when we don't really know what we're doing, and we're kind of nervous about being there. So um, everybody made everything pretty comfortable, and I was glad for that. Fine, let me just... Wait, wait. <laughs> you're right. This okay. way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, not, not that much, not that much. Okay. okay, right there, that's good. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Which part? When trying to get the actors to uh, really work with the framing when that you're doing as a cameraman, um, rehearsals before rolling is very, very uh, helpful. They, after, after like one or two runs, they, they tend to get everything down where it's just where to stand or what actions they're going to take and you as the cameraman can play off of that with your camera to really capture uh, that in a very um, interesting way. Yes, it was very difficult to get the certain scenes because you had to have the actors ready, you had to have the sound crew ready and you had to have the cameras ready and getting everybody in sync is a very hard thing to do. Even if your crew is the best crew that you have it's very difficult to get everybody on board and have them shoot at exactly the right time to get this, the, the right shot that you need. So I would say it's fairly difficult to get the right shot at the right time. And that really conflicts with your time management because you, you have to spend more time on certain shots because you want them to be perfect. So that kind of drags out certain clips and everybody is kind of exhausted and tired by the time you're done shooting those perfect scenes. So. All right, camera is rolling. Hopefully, last take. <laughs> <laughs> now that Amen. You said that. We did get close. Rolling, Judah. Rolling, yeah. But I didn't get aerial close up. I don't need it close up aerial. Yeah. Like, just have it stop right there. Like, don't even show her writing. No, I think the wide should be when she like kind of dies. Did we get that? Where she just, like stops. So get a good shot of that Y, please. Maybe. So wait, is that her death? <laughs> her arms like up. Were you on the slider again for this? Yeah. Because we didn't have the bad count. So yeah, I had never shot a horror film before, and I thought this was a great opportunity to try out. Um, different um, scenes, different camera angles for sort of reveals for all the, the gritty uh, kind of gory uh, scenes. And I was interested in the special effects with it as well. This shot, okay, right here. So from here, you give it a wide view. So you kind of have a, like it's free right here. Yeah. And then from where you are, or? Oh yeah. It was my first one and I might do it again. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, probably. I, and you know, like if if I ever did it again, I would want to kind of meet everybody beforehand, maybe run through the lines, just so I, I know kind of what I'm doing beforehand. Um, and I would hopefully not have school, so I'd be able to learn my lines a little better beforehand. 
Okay, so it is my first time being a student actor in a real production. I am a advertising public relations major, so I've had to make a few commercials and I've had to star in them, you know, because I can't depend on college students either. So, so um, this was my first time in a real production and the difference between that and this was that I didn't get to decide how things were how things were shot and what was said and everything. So I kind of had to make the lines work because in the commercials, I got to write my own stuff and I knew it, how it sounded and I like how it sounded in this. I might have had some issues with it, but I had, to, I had to remember I'm an actor, not the director. While it's a different challenge than it is for shooting on your own, uh, it's also a very helpful thing when you're making a film because uh, when you're on your own, you, it's completely reliant on yourself. And so if you have weak areas, it's going to show. But at least with a crew, you can f fill in each other's gaps. And I think that makes it a better product overall. So give yourself way more time than you think. That's my one advice if you're going to shoot a film. <laughs>